Except for like last time, it was like basically what manifest destiny. Yes. Yeah. Anywho, so we have a break in an MOA compromise our document scene in place. So now this is where the, the this document. is where shit gets annoying. Oh god, yes. This is where the um, seals seals come into it. Apparently, another piece of like a. Uh, by the way, there's our two agents, Stephen Greer, uh, Greer. Uh, yeah. And I think the other one is... You go for the uh, spots on the uh, upper right. That's quite right. So it's down there. Yeah. Mikhail uh, Sartagi. Saratov. Oh, Saratov. Yeah, it's the same two people every time. But as we said, we're going to be doing this one where we're a good little Christian boy. Well, atheist. This is a communist nation. Orthodox, sorry. No, no. uh, Orthodox, I think, came in after the fall. Yeah, must be. Because, like, remember, communist countries by rule are atheists. Yes. Now, here's Cause. an example of an uh, entry permit. No seal. So. No th- other either. Hmm. Uh, detain, yeah. Just easier. See, even by default, you're going to say denied. But, as yeah. you said, there's a monetary gain now to, detain, to detaining people. But, again, like, there is no incentive to just denying people mm. I, I think it's one of those tricks are meant. oh here we go hey, hey, look who it is this is the one time you get through <sighs> wonderful wait it doesn't state what his uh, reason for it doesn't matter he go, he gets through well I'll just make sure uh, I mean, he doesn't have a reason for being but I don't think it matters does it really I, I really want this guy to leave you think no right we let him in then. And you get the Obstrand t- uh, token. Yeah. You finally got to put up with him. Obstrand, sorry. Yes. Our starts go the best. <laughs> Yay. We won't be seeing him again. That's the end of that one. Right? Nope. <laughs> no, he still... He still comes in for shits and giggles. But we'll find out why. He's like... Cl- cl- apart from like uh, Sergio, who you'll see later in the game. Yes. He is the closest thing you have to a best friend. Yeah, I guess so. It's like he the, by by some kind of like weird <laughs> cosmic balance, he is your best friend. The office party is gonna be interesting with him around, though. Jeez, imagine the Christmas party. Jeez, it's like, hey, Georgie. Oh no, it's not him again. He takes he takes shits in the fountain. It's like, God damn, he spikes a punch one more time with fruit juice. Yeah, again. Ah, here's a uh, the guy of I can never remember his name. Uh, I think it is. Is uh, Kalinsk. Kalinsk, thank you. See, I keep confusing him with the character you mentioned, Sergei. Uh, yeah. Sergei. And has uh, give, not given us enough money. And is delaying us. <laughs> Look at the delaying. Like, that's one, another thing I don't like about this like uh, this game. Although this is like a personal thing, is that your, you... Your player avatar is an asshole. Uh, yeah. It's like, here's money that I did need to give you from my own paycheck. Just <laughs> once you promised me, mate. It's like, why? I like, like that guy, uh, Kalinsk would be right up his eyes. He's like, fuck it, fine, I'll keep it. Yeah, that's true. He's, <laughs> he didn't have to give you money or give you the incentive at all. But then again, it's not like. That's the point, though. Like your player, uh, your player avatar is like endemic of the society. Yeah, like, they're all assholes in a way. They're all just like hard, just like gruff, uh, unpleasant, and just like just beaten down by the system so much. It's just like there's no need for manners. There's no need for anything. Just they don't care about you, and I don't care about you. This is just a job to me. And like why? And at the same token, he's right in a way. He True. Got yeah. this in a lottery. He probably wanted to be a doctor or something, but no, he got this instead. Well, apparently, like, uh, you learn from... Uh, oh, the order. Oh, the order knows. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, that was Saratov, by the way. Oh, yeah. I think we encounter Garad and uh, Stephanie the next day. I think it's two days away, actually. You could be right. Either way, this guy's not getting in. <laughs> Just, like, straight denied. I don't even want to hear what you say. Even the, And the great thing is, the faster you do it, the more abrupt your player avatar is. Yeah. You know? Just, like, you don't have this. It's like... But <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, it's like just nope. There's <laughs> even like if you do this so fast, you just don't give these people a chance. So here we go. How her infigar? That last rhymes. It reminds me of that weird like personality turned songwriter who was was 
okay best Halvar superstar. <laughs> that, was a, that was a hell of a name. Uh, back, I want to say back in 2004 he was, I think. Really? He looked like uh, Ron Jeremy. Uh, but who doesn't know this? <laughs> oh, Hooded Man. He's a very light Hooded Man, actually. I think the implicit is that they're all different people. I have to. I'll check his weight the next time if he's forty nine kilos or not. <laughs> or maybe he just like he's carrying a lot of guns. Probably. Natik Tosky, you're moving here, all right? Uh, the the steam steam resting bitch face. That we come to expect. It's like that freaking like straight line emoji. Yeah. Even though, he, well, we're gonna find out shortly who he, who she is or he is. Although with that face, like, it's hard to say. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, that. Answers. Oh, the feather hair gives it away. It's Steve Irwin. <laughs> 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 Jesus, he's uh, the the years have not treated him well, has it? Well, the cigarette got at him. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that from the wound in his chest on the photograph. Yeah, crikey bollocks. How is Australia taking the death of Steve Irwin? I imagine they've just just, uh, just missed like a national hero. I, look, I haven't been back in, since about six, and he was still kicking back then. <laughs> yeah. Although I imagine like it's just finally great. Another national stereotype is gone. We can actually get on with our lives. Now what we need to do is get rid of this Jason Donovan and forget he ever existed. Oh, Peter Andre. And neighbors. Fuck Peter Andre. Just cancel neighbors. Ah. I know too many people who'd be upset by that <laughs> that, go, that going. You know, culturally, that's all like most Europeans know about is your soaps. That's about it. Well, to be fair, the only thing most Americans know about uh, England is like the panel shows. Yeah. And Top Gear. And Top Top Gear mostly, yeah, I'd say. Uh, and of course, they know about us from just generally being just drunk. <laughs> so yeah, that works just as well. You know, something about this is trying me off. No. Ah. Wait, I, can't, I, I caught it this time. All right, love, you know what to do. <laughs> Holy shit, She's, she came prepared. She is packing heat. Quite literally, she's packing. She's heat. packing heat that can go off in like you know, like you know, in three, uh, like three thousand meters per second. Mm. It's not going to end well with her, or nor the soldiers if she's just going to give her a pat on the back. Hey, good job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, get rid of it. Yeah, I know. So you can keep these kids if you let the second one through. Yes. But if not, you get uh, you get audited and then like uh, arrested for having illegal funds. Yes. Although to be fair, like for you know not being like classes renting, but if you have a class A department and suddenly just have a thousand pounds, like it's gonna be suspicious. Yeah. You know. Anywho. So day eleven, and we're still actually do we're still doing pretty well clover wise. So the bribe helped out, I guess. Anywho. And looks like an ordinary day. I, I love this. The history of Stutzka, in pictures and words, mostly, mostly words. <laughs> love it. Just like, there is no such thing as photography in our Stutzka. Also, a nice little cute design is because, like, this is the truth about Stutzka. Everyone can get it because it is of no charge, as you can see in the uh, top well, right. Well, I would say that I've maybe, call me being, I'm reading too much into this, but the truth of our Stutzka, given the year and no charge, Ministry of Truth, possibly? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just, again, it's these fine little details yeah. with middle of society. Because I'm a big fan of, like, uh, utilizing everything that can be best utilized. Oh, not to say. Person. Hey, he's uh, an inspector. He's a blue, blue faced inspector. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, yeah, this is. Now he's asking about the order of the Essex Star. Yes. This is another way you can fuck up by giving him like the uh, as a uh, cipher. Hmm. He's gonna give us a little sketch. Oh yeah, it's the sun. Wait a minute, we don't get the sun in Aristotle. No such thing. Page three would be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I would, yeah. 
Then again, P3 by itself is pretty miserable. <laughs> it's a bit tragic, isn't it? It's like, I love... It's one of those weird artifacts of England. It's like, you know, we're a modern country and we are one of the centres of commerce and economy in the world. Anywho, get your tits out. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Like, and it was one of the things that really pissed me off is that, like, you know, there's a big campaign to get rid of it because it's a bit, like, you know, regressive and all that, right? I'm sure it is, yeah. And so, like, you know, for a while, like, you capitulated, then you had, like, old, like, you know, the, like, you know, uh, uh, counter-arguments going, oh, you capitulated to them, them being, like, the, some form, like, nebulous complainer type. And then, like, about a month later, they brought it back and basically wrote an article below it saying, Fuck you. Yeah. I was like, what the hell, guys? Come on. Yeah, it's just... You're an idiot. But that's not the that's not the point, really. It's just, why is... How is it a thing? Like, so, I, I get it, like, still, fair enough. Like, I get it, it was a thing back, like, you know, what, like, the 70s when that started? Probably, yeah. But it's, you know, it's been 40 years, guys. Yeah, guys, you know what the internet is, right? You don't need to get that in print. Oh, yeah, yet. there's even the internet just, just as a cover argument. Yeah. Ah, uh, entry permit. Shit. Who's this guy? Metal Alp. Okay. He looks alright. I think. I don't see anything wrong with that. Mm, yeah, he's fine. <sighs> yep, looks good. Wait, off you pop. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, I forgot. Uh, this guy yeah. is an American. Yeah. He is the engineer. I thought I recognised his face. So he's our engineer, and uh, if we recognise someone as an engineer, we give him a card and we get money. Yep. Which is a good incentive, I think. And all the engineers you see for like, the next four, not five, it's like They're gonna be one, two, engineer. three, get it, or an automatic in. Four is an out, and five is an in. Yeah, there's like one that's just an outlier. Yeah. And that, that it's, it's obviously in the middle, so you're expecting, oh yeah, he's in. You know, if you're trying to like play, play the game as such. Yeah. But uh, it's like Baltic Seal, Antagria, same. Looks, looks good. Yeah. That would throw me off in 1983. So I'm happy with that. No, I was in. Oh, yeah, like, just. I really like designing anything where, like, everything is too. Uh, is in aid of what's trying to portray. Mm. Not to say that I'm not, good, I'm not a fan of ancillary sh shit. Like, you know, I'm a big fan of Edgar Wright, like everyone else. Yes. But at the same time, like. Just using what you have in the most full way possible. Yeah. And Papers, Please, again, is one of those games that really sell that. Everything here has a function. Even if it is vestigial, even if it is, like, you know, narrative building, it still helps bring across the idea that it's trying to put forward. And there's very few games these days that can really do something. Yeah, it's like as if it's like the best way to say it is nothing is wasted. Exactly. Everything has a purpose. Everything is, is leading to. Or it's, it's designed for something or it means something to somebody. Yeah. yeah. It's not even that it's wasted, that it's like purposely constructed with these limitations of mind and works within these parameters. Much like how, you know, how you are in your player avatar. You're working yeah. within your means. Exactly. I mean, like, uh, there's very few, in the, at least in major games, go. Uh, that really do this because like, a lot of it's certainly bullshit like, yeah imagine like think of like a modern like major game like a triple A game that has only everything that you need mm. well you will uh, oh no I will say GTA is an extension because it sets up that preset and it has done so since like yeah. the 90s yeah it's, it's, it's the one outlier yeah as they do actually but it's always that kind of thing isn't that what they say is that a the old phrase is that a horse by committee is a camel. I've never heard that. What the fuck? Have you heard that phrase? No. Though? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, basically, you say it's almost like a equivalent of like too many cooks spoiling the broth. Yeah. But um, I mean, that's like one of the things. Like you know, like indie games have like a. Um, I think probably because they're a bit more lenient to indie games. Like you, th you look at it and just say, "Wow, this game was made by one guy. Yeah. This is a hell of an achievement." It's it's only that it's like a. It's that indie games, because they have such, like, you know, austere design mm. uh, budgets, times, and such like that, that they need to be clever with, like, what they have. I yeah. mean, one of my favorite examples is the Zoe Quinn game, Depression Quest, which is a text-based adventure game. Yes. 
But what happens is because like it's all about depression and depression leads you to certain aspects where like you can see what you should do, mm. but your psychological disorder prevents you from doing so because you don't feel worthy. Then in the game you can see what you what's the best option for you, whatever that player in the game does. We have a suicide bomber again. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I that was a pity. Yeah, but just going back to my point uh, that uh, because you like. Because you can see the option, like, yes, I shall do this with my friends. Mm. But you can't select that because you're in such a uh, withdrawn state. Mm. And yeah. it's really cool. Like, there's tons of, like, indie games. Like, Portal's another good example. Yeah. That, uh, well, like, it doesn't have any ancillary. In fact, 90% of that game is tutorial. You don't notice it. No. Yeah. That, that's a good point, actually. Hmm. And that was probably one of the problems with Portal 2 is that... It actually felt like a game. They had narrative. Yeah, I mean, like the, yeah. there were elements I liked to it, but I think the introduction of world to Portal uh, was much of its detriment. Well, they kind of had to though if you're gonna make a sequel. Like you, you can't just like make something. Ah, uh, but there, there, yeah. there is the crucial question: Did Portal require a sequel? Peer pressure. People want people demanded it. Yup. 